Hi folks, John with the Antique Harmoniums. In a previous video, I did Fresh Out of the Box on the Eddie Max Wireless 80211 BGN Nano USB adapter, as you can see there. And in that video, I promised I would put together a little tutorial on the trials, tribulations of getting it installed into an older Mac system, which I have. I have a Mac Mirror Power G4 from around 2005, I believe it is, maybe six or seven, I can't remember, but I bought it in 2007. So it works great as a Pro Tools server, but when you try to do anything halfway modern to it, um, it can be a little finicky. So, getting the Edimax uh, Nano Adapter installed uh, took a little bit of shuck and jive, and I wanted to show you um, how to get around that without too much difficulty. So, um, I already have the uh, Edimax installed, and it works great. So, I just wanted to walk you through what I did. So, we've got the, the disc loaded. There it is down there, and here it is. You can see EW781, that's the disk. And over here is the Mac folder. Now, in the instructions, they say that the Mac folder is supposed to open automatically. Well, that's a lie, at least on my system, it does not. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And what you're going to see is a long list of zipped up files. I'm going to zoom in close to this first one so you can see the name. You see right there where my pointer is it says Mac OS 10.4. Okay, that's my guy. So I'm going to open him like this. There you go. And there we go. It is unarchiving that zipped folder and what happens is you get on your desktop the unzipped folder. See, uh, let's pull back, there it is. So I'm going to open him and then you'll see these three files. There is your installer. Okay, so what you want to do then is just simply open him, run him, and it should install the drivers as needed. I'm not going to do it again because I've already installed it and it's working fine. So that's how you get the installer to actually run. The auto run.exe does not do what it says. Auto run doesn't happen on, on an old system like this. So that's how you get the installer going. So the other Thing is, let me go down here and bring this file up. Here is uh, copy and pasted a portion of the instructions. It says, if I can read this uh, through the camera, select the system preference from the system menu, select and launch the network item in the system preference folder from the configure list, select the correct adapter and configure it. Okay. What this is assuming is you don't have any sort of wireless connection at all set up. Well, okay, that's great. If you don't, then you need to follow these instructions and go configure a wireless connection. This confused me at first because I already have a wireless connection. So, let me show you. As soon as I put the Edimax in, it started blinking and my Mac went ahead and detected available networks and so here we go there I am so I just connected to my wireless connection that's already set up and then there I am 100 percent ready to go okay and then once I did that, the Edimax changed from a very slow blue beep to a three-second beep 
uh, uh, sorry, three blue flashes per second. And according to the manual, that means that it's operating just fine. So the proof is I uh, go out to Safari, which is very, very old. And there we go. Let's uh, try to go to my Yahoo, if I can do that with one hand. Yeah. Maybe. And so, yeah, we can see it's working there. And that's what you get when you execute Safari on an ancient system. I'll go to the home. And that's what it says. I've got to upgrade. So anyway, that's proof that I've got connectivity and access to the internet. I uh, hope this helps in your journey of getting your Max installed. It's a great little product and very affordable.